What is up beautiful people, TJ here with another episode. Today, I'm going to be going to an Amazon Ben store. Um, if This is probably the first time I think on this channel that I've gone to a Ben store. So I'm going to take you for the whole entire experience. I'm going to try to film as much as possible so you can kind of see uh, my thought process and the items that I pick. Now, normally you have to get up pretty early to get in line, but I'm not a morning person. So uh, it's about seven o'clock and they open at eight. And I bet you there's already a line over here. So um, I'm gonna tell you exactly what an Amazon Ben store is. So essentially what an Amazon Ben store is basically they have a bunch of uh, big bins or troughs um, and they dump product in there. Um, a lot of times they're Amazon returns, sometimes they're Amazon shift pools, sometimes they're Kohl's, um, sometimes they're Home Depot. Uh, I say Amazon Ben store because that's what a lot of people associate these stores um, with is, is Amazon items, but they definitely have um, items from a whole bunch of different uh, retailers. Now, um, they have a strategic pricing structure um, so, uh, you know, like today is $7 a day. So everything that you find in the bins uh, are $7. So, you know, you can find something that's $100 or $200 um, in the bins and it's going to be $7. So that's the power with the Amazon bin stores is because, you know, you can find a lot of very profitable items because your cost of goods sold is going to be um, so low, you know, whenever you sell it. And uh, that's why I frequent the bin store. Now, I'm not an early person. Y'all know that. <laughs> so uh, uh, they open up at eight and generally there is a line. Um, you know, sometimes people go the night before. Sometimes, you know, they get there at one o'clock, they get there at two o'clock. So um, me, myself, I'm not a morning person. So I get there, I get in line early enough to where I can still go in and get some profitable items. But definitely being first in line has its perks because you can get like the big um, kind of items that are just kind of blaring right out in front of you and uh and I, i'm you know i'm not gonna get those items because i'm not gonna be anywhere close to first in line um so in my area i live in chattanooga tennessee so if you don't know anything about chattanooga um we have four bin stores that are close to us and then we have uh about two or three that you can get to in about an hour or so um so we have a plethora of bin stores around here um, you know for people to go in and find items now I have seen that there's a very um, healthy mix of Resellers versus people that's just going there to find, try to find a good deal and what I found is um, You know the people that are going in there to find a good deal Normally don't find the highest priced items because that's not what they're looking for um, They're looking for things that they can utilize versus resellers are looking for things that you know They can just buy and, and flip you know uh, so I'm gonna get up here. I'm gonna be there in about five or so minutes. It's very close to my house. Like I just left my house and I'll be there in five minutes. Um, so I'm gonna go up here and I'm getting in line and I'm gonna see what I can find. Locating Amazon bin store near you. Scanning for deals. Optimal deals located at bin picking. Shall I execute? Executing bin store deals.
all right so overall i think i did very well um hopefully y'all saw some of the price comps while i was in there but we're gonna fly over to the studio we're not gonna fly we're gonna drive we're gonna drive over to the studio and um check out everything we got i'm gonna give you all the price comps i'm gonna show you all the soul comps and we're gonna see how i did with this haul all right we are back in the studio and i'm gonna show y'all everything that i got i went through it oh my back <laughs> i went through and i've already kind of priced everything based on the soul comp so what i'll do is i'll show you everything i'll show you what soul comp is and then maybe i'll try to have like a um a accumulation of all of the totals here y'all know i paid seven dollars for everything y'all don't know that because i didn't tell you i paid seven dollars for everything that i got today um and there's actually some surprising things in this so let's get into the unboxing i guess you want to call it all right, the first item I'm gonna go ahead and grab it since it's the closest thing. I don't know if y'all saw when I grabbed this, but this is a pair of Apple AirPod Pros. Um, on the front of it, you see right there, it says no case, but I opened it up um, and they are in there. There's just two naked earbuds in there. It also has the charging cable um, as well as the additional uh, earbud pieces on the inside. So as long as these work, these are selling for about 60 to $65 a piece just for one, you know, a right side or a left side. So I'm just going to list these individually, or I may just do one listing of the right side and the left side after I test them um, for $120. Now, mind you, I paid $7 for everything and my first item is $120. So that was actually uh, a pretty good find. I'm actually not, I'm surprised that people didn't grab these. I don't think that they saw them because I think people would have grabbed those. Um, obviously had they seen them. All right, the next item. This is a Vava uh, docking station. I actually opened this up um, and it, it's in a used condition, um, but it looks very good. It's actually a really nice looking uh, docking station. So hopefully I don't I don't want to keep this. I'm, uh, <laughs> that's the kind of the running thing on Pallet Jacking. If you're not following Pallet Jacking, uh, which is my other channel with uh, me and my sister April, you need to go over there and follow that channel because we have so many adventures and we have such a good time of uh, April always saying something about she need to keep something. Uh, and this is one thing that I would like to keep, but I'm probably not going to, uh, these have sold comps for around $40. Uh, so I will have to test this out because it is an electronic. Um, and I'll make a video about how I test stuff out, um, at a later date. All right. The next item, this is a 42 piece screwdriver set. Uh, a Marty Sand, a Marty Sand, something like that. Uh, I always grab uh, tool sets because they sell really fast for us um, on our eBay store. This right here, these don't appear to be used. If they have been used, they're in really good uh, condition, but everything is here and it is complete. Um, and this set goes for about $40. So it's not like a super big money maker, but these will sell um, pretty, pretty quick. So uh, all this stuff I'm gonna get listed today. That's another thing I'm gonna, um, I'm going to start on this channel uh, doing Friday bin store hauls. Just my when I go and I go to the bin store on Fridays, and I'm going to start going to some that's kind of out uh, outside of our normal uh, bin store because we got like a bunch of bin stores here. Um, and I'm just going to take y'all along with me. I'm going to try to make them where they're a little bit more interactive. Um, and you know, y'all can really see me picking stuff out of the bins and see me finding stuff as I'm finding it because I think that's uh, a pretty cool thing all right next item this is a uh, cml um it's a car player and it has a screen on it so it's got like a, a flip out screen um these generally take a little bit longer to sell but they do sell um this one right here is a uh, open box but it is new on the inside i've already opened it and looked at it um and it did have a model number on the side so it's super easy to find there's about five of them listed and there's one sold so it is going to take a little bit longer uh to sell but this one goes for about $65. The one, the last one that sold was actually a little bit more. I think it was $79.99. Uh, but I'm going to price this one at $65. Hopefully, maybe it'll get it to move a little bit quicker. All right, the next item. I couldn't pass these up when I saw them because they were so cute. <laughs> so this is uh, Dork Diaries. Um, and it's a 12 book set. Uh, all brand new and sealed inside of here. Um, and these sell for about $40 uh, as well. Um, 
if these were hard books, the hard the hardback books actually go for a lot more. Um, so if you are in a bin store and if you see like books, especially when they're full sets like this, I always grab them up because you can generally sell these uh, pretty quickly. Actually, we just sold a book set uh, this morning. All right, next item. This, I'm gonna take this out of the package so y'all can see it. It grabbed my eye because I like this black and gold scheme, but I always grab backpacks if I can find a listing for them. And there was a ton of listings for these and there was also a ton um, look at me trying to like get over it. <laughs> uh, also a ton that have sold um, of the same exact one. So this one's brand new. Um, it does not have tags. So I can't say brand new with tags because it don't, it don't have any physically have any tags on it, but um, it, it's not used or anything. It's black and it's got like this really nice green interior uh, or turquoise, I guess you call it turquoise. And then it has like a little USB where you can plug it into a uh, power bank. This is for like a laptop. So it's got like a little laptop thing where you can slide the laptop, laptop down here. I may keep this. I like this backpack. I always say that every time I get a backpack, I always say, oh, I need to keep that. I just love, I love backpacks and I love bags. And um, and this one like is a pretty stylish one. So this one goes for about $35. So. I probably list it. I don't know. I don't need this. Do I need this, y'all? I don't need to keep it, do I? Okay, I'm not going to. I'm gonna sell it. $35. All right. So this, this was like the second thing I think I picked up at the bins. I have to go back and look at the footage, but I think this may have been the second thing that I picked up, but it is a Foscam home security system. Somebody 100% would have picked this up um, had they seen it. I just physically went to that bin first because there wasn't that many people in the line. Um, but this one right here goes for about a hundred dollars. Um, there's some that sold for a little bit more, but this one is in an open box condition. Um, so I think in an open box condition, I can get it, uh, sell it for a hundred dollars. The last one that sold, uh, was a new one and it sold for 140. So I think a hundred dollars is pretty uh, decent for this thing. So a hundred dollars. All right, the next item, I was not gonna pick this up because I, I pick them up sometimes. Like uh, these are, I'm just gonna show it to you. It's like a pool, like for a door or something like that. So it looked really nice when I saw it. It, it's, it physically just looks really nice. I mean, I would like that on the front of my door, just opening it. Um, but it is brand new. It has all the parts and all the pieces um, in here. These sell for about $30. The only reason that I got it was because they look like they were fast sellers. So I think I can sell it pretty quickly and it's easy to list. I, mean, I literally can just open it up, take pictures of it. And, and I have found some listings for it. So it's not gonna be hard to list. That's why I picked this up. So for $7 and then I can make, uh, you know, around, I don't know, 15 to $20 pretty quickly. I'll go for it every day. All right, this one surprised me. So <laughs> I always pick these up. I always pick up these smart um, door locks or this is a deadbolt, smart deadbolts. I pick them up every time and then I open them up and then they're used or they're missing pieces or somebody done swapped them out. So this one, I took a chance on it because it was just $7 um, and it felt solid, even though I had like a little bit of shakiness in it. When I open it up, it's literally brand new. Oh my God. I should have filmed my reaction when I opened it up because it was like a crazy reaction because I, it's everything is like brand new in here. Look at this. That's the thing. I mean, this thing is is brand new. Brand new and sealed. I don't even want to take it out of here because it's so like new and I'll probably never get it back in here like it was, but uh, that's it. It's a deadbolt uh, and it has like a keypad on this side need to keep this. No, don't. TJ, sell it. TJ, keep it. Sell it. Keep it. TJ, sell it. You know you want it. TJ, do the right thing. All right, so you guys win. I'm going to sell this. This is uh, going for $100. This is going to be super easy for me to list this. Um, it had some that I had already sold. It had some that's, that was listed. So I can just go in and um, and just sell one like this. It's going to be pretty simple to get that listed. So $100. All right. All right, next item. 
This one was, I got this because I saw a listing for it and it was, it's only selling for about $25. I think we've already got one of these. That's why I picked it up uh, and I can just use the same listing that we got. But these, like I said, this sell for about $25. It's a hair curler. Um, so it's, it's like, you know, it's got this and then it's got like other pieces that you can attach to it and have like different curler pieces. So all the pieces are in here. Um, it is open box and it has been allegedly used. So I will have to go through and test this stuff. Um, I'm going to make a whole video about how I go through and I test stuff. And some stuff I don't test. I just kind of what I call sell at risk. Um, and on that video, I kind of talk through what, what that actually means. Um, you know, to sell at risk. All right. I don't know why I got this. I picked this up and I was going to put it back. I had in my mind that I was going to put this back and I did not put it back. Um, but it's okay because I, I think it'll sell. So this is a Dom, D-O-H-M, um, yoga sleep machine. So it's just a, like a sleep machine. The reason I said that I wasn't going to keep it was because it's, it looks new. I don't think it's been used. Um, but it goes for only 25 or 24 dollars so i think i will only make about 17 dollars for it in this condition and that's only if it works and i don't know if it works or not um i'll have to go in and, and test it and make sure that it works and make sure it's good um but generally i try to stick with items that i can profit at least like 25 dollars on that's that's like my goal in my mind when i go to the bin stores sometimes that just don't happen you know you gotta you know take it day by day but I am blessed to be able to find at least some items because I know sometimes you go to the bin store, you don't find pretty much nothing. So I think that's a pretty good little pickup here. All right. Next item. This one kind of surprised me. I picked this up because I recognized this brand. So this is like a, a brand that makes like computer modules and stuff like that. Um, and this is actually a docking station. So you can dock, um, I don't know how many things you can dock on here, maybe 10, but you can plug in like 10 things to it and like charge. So like if you got iPads and uh, iPhones and drones and uh, camera equipment and all that stuff you need to plug in, you can plug all that stuff in to this one station and it's small, it's convenient. And it has like these little fins that you can put in here so you can like set your um, peripherals or components or one of those other words that you would use for computer things <laughs> in there. And, uh, and you can charge them all. Uh, and it is brand new. It's got all the pieces, all the parts down at the bottom. This is selling for about $55. Actually, the last sold comp was a little bit more than 55, but 55 I think could get me uh, in the right range to, to sell it as fast as fastly as I want to sell it. So 55 bucks. All right, I got three of these. Okay, so these are Timo Iconic, uh, Iconic, <laughs> Timo Ionic uh, Hair Straightening Brush. So it's some sort of straightening hair brush. Um, these generally sell pretty fast for us. We actually picked one of these up a couple weeks ago and it sold pretty quickly. So I saw three of them, I picked them all up. These sell for about $40 uh, a piece in an open box condition. Each one of these are open, um, so I will have to go through and um and test them but everything is in here it just comes with the uh, the brush itself and it comes with like some gloves or something like that but this is what it looks like um it's actually a really nice uh hairbrush hair brush straightener whatever it is this one does not have any hair in it which is really good because i don't like getting the ones where i gotta clean the hair out uh so some of these you know may have been bought as gifts or something and maybe the person just didn't didn't like the way it worked or didn't like the way it looked or they was mad at the person. They said, I ain't taking nothing. I'm sending it back. <laughs> ain't no telling. But $40 for each one of these, I think was a pretty good pick up, especially because I only got to make one listing. Uh, and I think I've already got a listing for this particular model. Uh, and I think they're all exactly the same. So $40 a piece. All right. We got another curling set. This is an Ellie Hot uh, 5 in 1 curling set. At first, I could not find a sole comp for this, so I wasn't going to get it. But then um, the thing about eBay is that you can use uh, certain keywords to find stuff. And the way that I did it was I used the transparency app 
You see that? You can scan that barcode on Amazon and it'll pull up the actual listing of this particular item. And then I used the keywords from that listing and looked it up on eBay, which is where we sell most of our stuff. Uh, and I was able to find one. So these are selling for about $35. Um, and I, I think it'll sell pretty good. There's only like one or two listed and there's one sold. So, you know, it's not like there's a million of them sold. It's not like, you know, I'm a list this and it's going to sell before I could even get the list and like saved. But I do think it will sell uh, eventually and it's pretty small. So I can put that in uh, one of our boxes or totes. All right. This is the last item, y'all. So it's a big box. All right. This is a speedy, 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 speedy. Uh, AC 2100 dual band gigabit uh, Wi-Fi router. Extraordinary network performance. Um, so immediately when I saw this, I picked it up because um, Wi-Fi routers always sell for us. Um, the only thing that was kind of a turn off for this item is look how big this box is. It's huge. It's like it literally almost as big as my torso. So shipping wise, it's going to cost a little bit to ship. It's not very heavy. Um, so hopefully we'll be okay with that. But this is selling for about 55 to $65. Um, it is new in here, um, but I would list it as an open box. Just I, I generally tend to list items that I get from the bin store in open box condition um, just because you know, you never know what somebody went in there and took out on, you know, an accident or moved around or, you know, maybe they're sending somebody as a gift and then they get it and it's like not sealed, like never been touched by human hands. Um, and obviously I opened it and looked at it. So it's an open box at that point. So, all right, I'm going to tally everything and see exactly how much um, we're going to make from this load. And I'll be right back and let you know. Okay, so let's recap real quick where we're at, because I don't think I showed it at the beginning, but I'll put it in the beginning now that I know that I didn't say it at the beginning. Uh, but at the Ben store, I got a total of 16 items. Actually, I got 17 items. I found the coin, so I got one item for free. So I got a total of 17 items for a total of $122.36. You probably won't be able to read that, but I'm gonna put it on the screen anyway. So I put in a, a, a close up of it, um, but I, I spent $122.36. What I think that I can make from this load that I just showed you is $895. That's not minus how much I spent. So let's go ahead and take off the 122 that I spent. So it's about $773. After shipping uh, and fees, I should be able to clear at least $600 on this load, I think. Um, so that's pretty good, especially because I was only in the bin store for about 30 minutes. Um, Y'all saw pretty much everything from uh, you know, me getting there, me getting up in the morning, me going there and me shipping the stuff. So if you do have a band store around you, I would tell you if you are trying to get into reselling, um, and you have a few dollars, you know, maybe 50 bucks or a hundred dollars to go spend at the band store. I would tell you to go in there and at least try it. Um, because you know, you never know what you're going to find. So if you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Also hit that bell icon so you get notifications whenever I release new videos and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.